Hey guys, welcome to my channel where we'll be discussing family, faith, hope, and love. I'm so glad that you joined me. Let's be fed daily bread. Are you hungry? This is your very first time tuning in you have joined me on my digital journey today is actually day 156 episode 156 I have been led by the Holy Spirit yes Holy Spirit to drop you golden nuggets each and every day hello to my family and friends love you Thank you for joining me as always, and I appreciate your support. Okay, the word for today is discombobulated. <laughs> Let me repeat it. Discombobulated. I was washing up the dishes the other day, several days ago. And I had this train of thought. My mind was like all over the place. And I was just reflecting on, you know, certain circumstances. And I heard the Holy Spirit loud and clear said, yes, it's discombobulated. And I was like, I have not heard that word like forever and I was like okay let me go ahead and see what is the meaning of the word because like if you don't use a word on a regular basis you definitely want to go look for the definition and I was like okay Holy Spirit yes that's exactly what this particular situation or my train of thoughts have me feeling a little bit of discombobulated so it was only fitting that the Holy Spirit said that I should include it into my digital journey so here I am um, so what it is that I came up with about discombobulated and it's very interesting because it wasn't much but I did find scripture as well so um, this combabulated has a lot in reference to feeling um, the way that you're feeling um, it's like we don't have control over certain circumstances um, you know people go haywire in the way that they think and their behavior with a total disregard um, to other people and what they do how it affects a whole body you know, a lot of people is more like self-centered. Um, they don't necessarily um, think before they act. So then when the um, things hit the fan, everybody's like, ooh, they're in surprise, uh, disarray before they literally took it into consideration, their actions and their actions, um, what their actions can bring forth um, in the sense of not being favorable. So with that being said, when you find yourself in circumstances that are beyond your control that you can't help, um, one thing you can basically do, it says is just, you can just wash your hands, <laughs> um, stay away from certain things, um, stand, be, you know, just quiet don't have much to say be observant um, and pretty much just take a seat back you know um, so once you're discomb discombobulated you basically just have to create some time for yourself gain your self control and how do you do that scripture tells us 
um, for whatever reason, for this reason, you make every effort to supplement your faith with goodness and goodness with knowledge, knowledge with self-control and self-control with endurance and endurance with godliness. Okay, um, the only way that you will be able to gain self-control and self-discipline is with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So that's very important for you to have that relationship um, with God so that you know you can allow the Holy Spirit to help you when you find yourself in certain situations and circumstances where you're discombobulated okay um i'm enjoying this digital journey because i'm learning a lot um i already know what the episode for tomorrow is which i thought would was very interested once the holy spirit told me the word discombobulated um and it all goes hand in hand so just a little bit of reassurance um you're gonna come across those days um everything is not going to always be smooth sailing um you're gonna run into people you're gonna have issues you're gonna have situations that is gonna definitely make you feel like you are going to lose your mind or you don't have self-control but the one thing um that can keep you grounded, can keep you sane, um, is the Holy Spirit. And let the Holy Spirit be your guide. So my question to you each and every day is, are you hungry? I know that I am. Let's be fed. Daily bread.